Welcome back, everybody. Today is National Herbs and Spices Day, so of course we want to pay tribute to all the delicious flavorings out there. Here to show us a few of their favorites is Jamie Aragones from World Spice, which must be the most wonderful place to be every day, right? Yes, all the smells. <laughs> <laughs> the aromas, the colors. So we wanted to kind of dip into some things that might not be just our typical use of spice. And you've brought some things here that are wonderful. What are we going to put together? Today we're going to be making s'mores. We have a Pakistani crack, a graham cracker, then we have toasted cumin marshmallows, and then wow. because I like to support local, up the street from us there's indie chocolate, so that's what the chocolate yes. we're going to use in the s'more. Those are beautiful. And then the main thing I want to make like clear is that curry is you can use it in the summertime, and it's not just for curry. So you can use it in desserts, in your salads, in dressings. So I just have a couple of examples for everyone today. Curry is great. Now, how, do, how are these graham crackers different from what we normally would buy? Well, what does a Pakistani graham cracker involve? So over here, I'll show you. Over here, we have some of the uh, curry that I put into the cookie itself. Mm -hmm. Also, I use coconut oil. And then there's also Coco Lopez, that, which makes it unique. So it like wow. rounds it all together. So we've got sweet and savory, in other yes. words. I Which love I love it. that play, especially yeah. with desserts. Me too. And you know, s'mores tend to be very sweet, so I think the balance is great. So what do I do? Okay. I'm ready. So I'm ready, doctor. What instrument am I using? Have you ever made marshmallows before? No. <laughs> <laughs> so people are very intimidated by making marshmallows, but they're a lot of fun and they're very easy. And it's also one of those things that once you make them at home, you'll never want to go back. Because they're so good. Yes. Okay. And that's what we have here. Yes. So. I would like to just, you can make whatever shapes you want. You know, mm -hmm. I've done like star shaped marshmallows, whatever it is you want. Right. Make it fun for the kids, um, but just cut across. Just use this kind of as your guide, just Alrighty. because that's the size of the graham cracker itself. Oh, so they are idea. sticky. So then so this is your friend. So afterwards, you can just tear them apart like this. Mm -hmm. Sort of like perforating a sheet of paper. Mm -hmm. And then so that way these don't stick together anymore. You could just go like this with the... Um, this is cornstarch awesome. and powdered sugar mixture. Okay, very good. Yeah. So am I making squares? Yes, please. Is that what I'm doing? Okay, very good. And so what's inside the marshmallow? What have we got here? Toasted what? cumin, which is this over here. And the reason we toasted cumin, it just makes it a little less, I want to say or like, Cumin is a little bit herbaceous and has, um, it's very pungent. Mm -hmm. So when you toast it, it mulls it out and just brings out a little bit more nutty flavor, which complements the chocolate. All righty. And then over here. I'm ready for you. Yeah, I have some of the cookie dough. <laughs> a little slow. <laughs> oh yeah, work, no problem. We can work on it. We can work on it. I want to get it this squared is, away. I think s'mores are very rustic, so you don't need to make them perfect. Exactly. So I'm gonna just so roll this out. What goes into marshmallows? Bit. What's even in this? So there's gelatin, sugar, and a little bit of like you just get a pot and mm -hmm. you get sugar, corn syrup. And whatever flavoring you're going to use, like in this instance, we use a toasted cumin. And then on the side with the KitchenAid mixer, you have your gelatin that is blooming. And then once it gets to 240 degrees, and all you need is a candy thermometer. The candy thermometers are your friend. So it's not as hard as we think, in other no, words. No, it really isn't. Um, the only thing that you really need is a candy thermometer. Uh, and just once it gets to 240, just slowly pour it into the mixer. And then you kind of forget about them for like 10 minutes. So, you know, what I do is while the marshmallows are fluffing, mm -hmm. I start to make the cookies. And this cookie is very easy to make. You just put all the dry ingredients in one bowl and the wet ingredients, mi mix them all up, and then make your dough. And you'll see in a little bit, this cookie is very easy to make in the sense that you actually don't cut the cookies until after you bake them, which is, I don't know, oh. when you buy graham crackers, one of the funnest things about them is you get to break them apart. Right. Um, so I have some over here that are already done, but all I did was once it's baked, you just kind of stamp them out. Right. And, and then, then you still get to do that. Yeah, you still get the whole experience. <laughs> and a lot of people say, well, what do you do with the edge pieces? Those are just snacks. Those are so, snacks. Yeah. Yeah. Those so, yeah. They that break apart. Look at that. You've got a nice big, you have to eat it. There's no other choice. So you've yes. got to go ahead and eat that. All right, I've got my marshmallows ready. What do we do next? Okay. And then we're going to actually assemble the marshmallow. Okay. Let's uh, mine are a little irregular, but just oh, no, that's totally little. okay. <laughs> that's that's totally to okay. I, I will say I have my measurements were uh, were rustic, as you said, very rustic. 
So I just make a stack of whatever chocolate. Um, we use dark chocolate for this just because I think it complements the rest, especially because it's bitter, and I think it goes really well with the curry. I love the idea of all these different flavors nice. existing nice. together. And how do we toast them? What do you do generally uh, The blowtorch. Oh, so, I love it. She's this got a blowtorch. A great activity to do, obviously, by a campfire, but if you, you know, apartment living like me, uh, you can do this at home. Yeah. Just get yourself a blowtorch. It's super fun. Once again, people are kind of scared by them, <laughs> but they're a lot of fun, and you can use them for more than one. Creme brulee. There's yeah. so many things, actually. Once you have one, you kind of get addicted to doing this. Watch this go. Yes. And so we're actually kind of, is it caramelizing some of the sugar in there? Yes. Is that what we're seeing? And you're going to be able to smell this. It, yes, when the marshmallow gets black, that's the best stuff of all. That is so cool. And where do we get a really good blaster like that? I there. <laughs> blow our dessert out. Um, you can. I got this at Ace Hardware. Okay. Uh, you go to Home Depot, any Simple. hardware store. Yeah. Okay. Easy as that. And, you and know, then there you are. And bite in. Looks delicious. So you brought some other things that allow us to kind of see how spice is used. I had a couple of these. Are they cashews? Yes. That is so delicious. It's ridiculous. What's what's on there? So we got brown sugar, white sugar, then we got, we used the Madras curry on that one, but mm -hmm. you could do whatever curry of your choice or spice. And then one egg white, you toss it in a bowl, and then you put it in the oven at 240 degrees for about 40 minutes. You toss them in between that time, and that's it. They're so easy. They are um, delicious. They impress people too, so it's one of those things you can bring people, <laughs> you know, you can bring them to, you know, a cookout or put them on your salads or just as a snack. That's true. Nobody would expect that, and we all want a little something, you know, pre meal. So, what about salads and salad dressings? How do we think about those? So, this one is a chopped masala fruit salad, and you can use whatever fruit of your choice. This even has cucumbers in it, which is, you know, very refreshing right now. It's also also very healthy. Um, I used all the, I went to the market and I just bought whatever I saw was the best. And this has like apples, cucumbers, strawberries, oranges, and we put the chopped masala in there, which chopped masala has um, dried mango, which is amshur, and andorana, which is pomegranate seeds that were made into a powder as well. So it all complements the fruit salad a lot, and right. there's ginger in there too. So they're kind of some superfood qualities yes. in this salad. So if we're not familiar with this, where are you guys? How do we learn about spices? Can we come in and ask a lot of questions? Yes, totally. That's what we're here there for. So we're right behind the market at Pike Place. And the way it works, you just walk in, you will, it's sensory <laughs> overload. Uh, make a day out of it, just yeah. because you go in and, you know, bring your list of what you want, just because we do have, we have over 100 pure spices and a lot of blends. So just go in and ask all the questions you want. And I strongly encourage people to not let their spices die. You know, like, you know, s'mores, you, you we know, everybody knows what a s'more is, but right. you can make it whatever you want different. You can a chocolate chip cookie, a bread, whatever it is, just take it to another level by adding your favorite spice to it. And some a little savory goodness. Thank yes. you so much. This is great. World Spice shared their s'mores recipe with us, and you can find it posted now on New Day's website.